Hey guys, Craig Frost here for Juicy Tuts, and today we're going to be looking at a tutorial in Photoshop. Uh, I want to look at adjustment layers, we're just going to go over some of the basics of adjustment layers and how you might use them. This is just a really quick example and uh, why they're useful. Now um, let's look at this image here. It's it's a nice looking image. Say I wanted to make some adjustments to it though. If I put some uh, effects straight to this layer, it might be destructive. I mean, let me show you. If I go to image adjustments, let's say I fiddled with the levels here and I made it really, really low contrasty. And uh, maybe I even, you know, desaturated it. Now, that's applied to this layer. What if I wanted to adjust the saturation now? And maybe I've done so many steps that it's not back in the uh, edit undo history. And I wanted to come in here and bring the saturation back up. No matter what I do, I can never bring that color back. So uh, this is where adjustment layers come in handy. So adjustment layers work like normal layers over here in the bottom right layers window. And you, they layer up on top of each other, just like they sound like layers. And so there's a couple of ways to make them. You can go up to uh, layer, new adjustment layer, or you can come down here on the right and press this adjustment layer button and pick what you want. So I can do the same here again with levels. If I wanted to make it low contrasty, I would not actually do this to this picture, but I'm just giving you an example. And then I can make another adjustment layer for the hue and saturation. And if I wanted to desaturate it fully, I can. I've got the same result here. But now, if I want to change something, I can. I can just double click on the adjustment layer and bring the saturation back if I want to or change the hue. And uh, the same with levels. And it's not actually touched the layer below it. And these adjustment layers would work for everything that's below them in the layers panel, not just for one layer. And I can turn them off and we're back to the original image turn them on one at a time. That's how to use uh, adjustment layers in the most simple form. Uh, it's really handy and I would recommend using them rather than affecting actual layers because you never know when you want to go back and change something. So um, they also come with their own layer masks which means you can paint out parts of the area for it to be affected. For example, um, I'll get into layer masks on another video but if I paint out this that means the levels will not affect this part of the image. And, uh, oh, my opacity is down a bit on the brush. There we go. You see, and so everything white will be affected. Everything black won't be affected. See, it's just a lot more easier to do things rather than duplicating layers and editing and cutting bits out. So that's how to use adjustment layers. I hope you found it useful. Uh, that's just the basics of it. We can spend hours on different techniques but this just the uh, raw basics of adjustment layers so thanks for watching remember to follow on juicytuts.com no not that we don't have that uh, twitter.com forward slash juicy uh give us a thumbs up if you like this video if it helped you out uh it helps us out if you give it a thumbs up uh, subscribe if you like to see more videos leave us a comment if you want so uh thanks for watching i'll see you again next time bye